it's here, finally, the new Hirsch Rose watch strap. Welcome back everyone to another episode and today I'd like to take the time and introduce to you the new Hirsch Rose watch strap made from genuine roses. And this is not enough. I want to show you three styles of how you can wear the rose on your watch. But first, I'd like to take the time to talk about the new material rose. We have been developing this natural uh, technology over the last couple of years, implemented products like leaf and wine last year. And now this year, it's the next step in the evolution, bringing you the rose watch strap. So what did we do? Basically, we have a new technology that enables us to use natural materials to make them flexible and durable, to make them wearable on the wrist. And this in turn allows us to try out different flowers, different plants and um, well, different kinds of materials uh, on this technology. Basically, what we do is we carefully select the plants, make them durable in a very, very long process actually, and then we apply them by hand onto a backing material, which is also animal free, and then we create a watch strap out of it. All of these watch straps are animal free, so they are perfectly usable for anyone who wants to have an animal free watch strap. The next thing that is so special about this uh, bracelet is actually that it is made from genuine roses. And this process to make them and to keep them as durable is a very, very intense one. And um, yeah, I don't want to keep you from it because it really, really reflects on what we've done. So what we do is we have these roses, they are carefully dried. Afterwards, they are grounded into a very fine material and then they are hand applied onto this backing material. Out of the backing material, we create the watch strap. What I really, really like about the watch strap bros is not only is it a more elegant variant of one straps that we created but also combined with the roses it actually gives a very very nice texture and you can see it in the different kinds of colors that you have from the rose petals reflecting on this natural material this well natural flower so it is different every time it's not 100 percent the same color and we do have a variation in colors with um, a slight spectrum of pinkish rose colors for this watch strap. It comes with a dark um, lining material. Again, this is also an animal free lining. What I really like is that we have this contrast with the pink stitching or the rose stitching. And then again, it really looks good on the watch strap. And this one that I have here right now is the 20 to 16. So you have a very nice taper as well, making the, making the strap very elegant, but also, and now we're getting into the watches, making the watch elegant as well. So first of all, we have, I have three watches here with me. All of the three watches are on the rows and I wanna show them to you and tell you a little bit why I chose these ones and what you can do with them. So the first watch I have with me is the Rolex Submarina. Why did I choose this watch? Well, I chose this watch because it's a diver. It reflects a very sporty category of watches. And I just wanted to show you that even with this type of watch, you can try a different approach to the watch strap and the watch strap will make the watch look different. In this case, it will give a bit more fresher look to the overall aesthetic of the watch but also due to the taper and due to the style and the material, it will also make the watch a bit more elegant. This is a combination that I personally wear in summer, in spring as well. I'd go for a suit, something like that, something light, and then add this sprinkle of color with the rose watch strap and probably also mix it up with accessories as well and maybe have one of the key pieces in my outfit with um, the same color as the watch strap. 
Next up, I again have a sporty watch. In my opinion, it's a bit less sporty compared to the Submariner. I have the Speedmaster Professional here and what I really, really like, and that's why I've been stealing this watch from my brother a lot, is that the watch is super flexible. It really can look elegant, it really can look sporty, it can basically wear anything what you throw at it. And it was a big challenge for myself because I really wanted to try the new Rose on the Speedy and I think that especially due to the darker black and white look of the watch, you have this combination of black, white and gray paired to this lighter, fresher, um, well, more feminine actually, watch strap. And this again shows how dressed down or more elegant you can style these types of watches as well. I'd totally wear the Speedy on any occasion um, with different kinds of straps. And I think in summer, spring, this will look great on a day-to-day -day outfit. Even with jeans, I'm pretty sure it will look great. And I will definitely try it out. So do follow me on Instagram because if I'm gonna try some outfits out, then you'll see it there. Last but not least, I have a different kind of watch here that is already um, elegant, that is already very minimalistic. We have the Junghans Max Bill, a watch that I've shown you already in one of my videos. I have this watch, I chose this watch because it already, it is very elegant, it is very minimalistic. I wanted to see how the rose can work with this type of watches as well. It makes the watch very feminine. I think the Junghans and the Rose, they work very nicely with each other. They complement each other. There's not a lot going on on the dial and with the watch. So it actually is a very, very nice and subtle approach to the watch or to the style. And it works well with the minimalistic style as well that the Junghans represents and also why did I choose this? Because the Junghans has a white dial and I wanted to see how the white and the rose work with each other. And I do think that it works very nicely. Um, probably for most men, this might be a too feminine look, um, but especially during summer with a nice white linen shirt or a nice rose colored linen shirt, some white or cream colored chinos, I think that this will work as well. I think it will be a subtle twist to the accessories wearing this. I'll definitely try it out, so we'll see how it works. I also think that especially this combination is also very wearable for, for women. Um, we created the rose with our female target group in mind. And I do think that this does have more a more feminine touch, of course, not only due to the color, but also due to the material, which is fine. I'll still give it a wear and I will be wear, and you will see me wearing this. And I do think that especially paired with the right watch and with the right style, you can definitely pull this off. All the links are down below to the watch strap and um, let me know what you think about it. Is this something that you wear? And if yes, on what watch will you wear it? That being said, as always, as per the usual, don't forget to subscribe. And if you feel like it, put a thumbs up. See you in the next episode. Bye-bye.